see, and that's where you lose me. I don't know if it was the beginning. I don't know if it was the middle, the end. Everybody's sniffing coke. The white hitman died. Ving Rhames had that, that moment. <laughs> I didn't like it. It was all over the place. No, bird. You just didn't pay good enough attention. Pulp Fiction is a masterpiece. Everything in there means something. Okay, what about the briefcase? What about it? We never found out what was in it. That's not the point. The lights were beaming. Everybody was in awe when they opened it. All you needed to know is it had value. Because anything with value is worth fighting for. Look, you overthinking it. Maybe you're not thinking deep enough. Don't hit me with that. I'm serious. Think about the boxer in his watch and its importance. It was passed down for many generations. He was willing to whisk it all to go back for it. Okay, sure, but he put himself in that situation. It wouldn't have happened if he would have just taken the deal to throw the fight. Would you betray your morals for money? What morals? He won. He, he killed a guy. You know, like he, he just... He found that out by weighing the consequences. That's what I'm saying. We all have choices that don't have any benefits. We're just fighting the lesser of two evils. We all have consequences like that. We just gotta figure out how to accept them. I, I, that makes sense. I mean, whatever decisions you make, those consequences will follow you. Hmm. Indeed. So, what are we gonna do with our friend? I think it's our turn to mess up that pretty little face. <laughs> yeah, we going for a ride. It's okay though, we gonna take care of you. We good people. You sure about this, Rico? Of course I'm sure. When have I ever steered you wrong? Man, countless times. I'm still catching heat from the last job. Okay, so what? We like to do things a little different. It gets the job done. Okay, well, next time you run out of bullets, don't use my car. He was standing right in front of us. Either he shot us or I ran him over. We had the improv. Okay, and now his face is imprinted in the hood of my car. And because you're improv and ass, we walking everywhere. <laughs> next time, I'll just let you get shot. Man, I just want a job that doesn't have us looking over our shoulders. Is that too much to ask? Hmm. He offered us top dollar for our services, and we accepted the job already, so we can't turn back now. Look, let's just get this itinerary and see what he wants. Wait, is this him? I guess so. Let's get in the carriage. Rico and Bert? Yep. In the flesh. Dexter. What you got for us? All right, I need you to pick up this girl for me. Have her at my house, 8 p.m. sharp, tonight. Transport her safely. And don't mess up her pretty little face. That'll be my job. How are you going to bring her? We'll worry about that. <laughs> All right, this is for you. Half now, and the other half when I see it at my house tonight. What's the address? Everything you need to know is in this envelope. Can I rely on you two? We'll be there today. <laughs> Y'all going like this? We'll handle that. Just make sure you're ready for this. <laughs> okay, okay, Rico and Bird. I'll let the professionals in. So how do you want to go about this? Like we always do. We'll be there at eight.
Now didn't I say eight o'clock on the dot? Oh. Like you. I understand. What were you gonna do with them? Please indulge us. <laughs> Why are you crying? You were so excited to see us earlier. I don't understand. I thought y'all were. I thought you were what? Delivery men? Nah, nothing like that. Everyone has choices, Dex. Can I call you Dex? Uh -uh. I really don't care. See, you made your choice, Dex. Somewhere along the lines, you got sloppy and it brought you to us. We're just the consequences. We're the turn of evil men. I thought you said you ain't like the movie. Look, I don't. <laughs> but it has some cold lines in it, so I had to say something. You're not wrong. It is a cold thing to tell a brother before you no. kill him. <laughs> Sorry. Pulp Fiction. 